What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Beef 92. I know it's been a while since uh, I've posted a video, so just to give you my off the grid uh, updates, I might be one to name. Uh, anyhow, so there's the scoop. Been a couple years. I guess it's been a couple years now since I posted a video, maybe, or a year. Anyhow, so, Old Red, unfortunately, I don't think the old heifer's going to be no longer with us, so the Ford's out of the question. I sold the 80, aka Duke, but I... It's going to my baby sister's boyfriend, and I know the truck's going to a good home. Cannot wait to see it. We are doing a Beef 92 video on that. So, most recent truck I have bought while well, I'm in it. Um, I know one of my videos I was pretty much talking shit about an avalanche. But, ooh, whoa, Nelly. Um, well... I, I ended up getting an avalanche. We're in an O2 avalanche. But at least it's four wheel drive, so. Air conditioner works. Only problem with this truck is, well, it's a Cadillac. And rides great, drives great. Great for long distance, unlike red. That still makes my spine tremble just thinking about it. Or tremble, yeah, tremble. So. Don't, well, so the name known for the Avalanche is the Mutt, simply because it's a car and it's a truck. Well, it's a full-size crew cab El Camino, and an El Camino, I call them Mutts too, simply because they're a car, but you tra they're just a car, but you trade the trunk for a bed. Well, then turn around if you have the torso cover, bed cover, whatever you want to call it. It comes in three pieces and it's labeled one, two, three. No dumbass can get that mixed up. At least I would hope. So, honestly, I dig his truck, but if it was a little more heavy duty, we'd be all right. Now, with the torso cover on it and everything else, well, little did I know before I had an avalanche that the back folds down to extend the bed. So basically, your back seat is taken up for another, well, they say it's five and a half, so we'll say for the sake of argument, two and a half, three foot, trying to get around to a long bed which is supposed to be eight foot but I've seen them eight foot I've seen them very little under eight and eight and a half and all that jazz well anyhow um, the only problem with the extending the back is why are you gonna haul wood in a fucking in the cab like literally right here behind my head I sure in the hell ain't so, ooh, there went my Copenhagen. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd give you an all, all an update. And hopefully we'll have another truck pretty soon. This one needs to be paid off before I buy another one, which I'm not really that far from paying it off, so let's pay her off and be done with it. Then get it. All the problem is, I like my Fords, but 2000s and newer Fords that were gas, especially like the 5.4s, I have seen nothing but constant issues out of them. And that was my experiment experience when I was a mechanic, and that was also my experience with small talking with people 
they always told me the ones I had a 5.4 and their F250 or 350 or what have you and said I wish I'd either got the V10 or I wish I'd have got the power strip. Well, the V10 might be a great running engine and everything else. I'm not knocking them. It's just, if I'm going that much for a truck, I just assume get the diesel by that time and be done with it. But, before it's over here, I'm either going to end up with a Super Duty or a 2500 HD Chevy or something of that nature. So, like, share, and subscribe, Beav92. Shout out to Bobtail and all Bobtail fans. Uh, I hate to tell you, the uh, Volkswagen ceased to live. I hauled it off the other day with my fucking avalanche. So, like, share, and subscribe. Beave out!